Emma Morley, Ambika Mod and Dexter Mayhew, Leo Woodall, two students, first crossed paths on July 15, 1988, on the occasion of their graduation ceremonies, in the first episode of One Day. The television series, which is based on David Nichols' best-selling novel, follows the friends as their lives intersect for a span of 20 years, starting on July 15, 2015. Their bond began fairly unexpectedly, and throughout the years, we've seen it develop, alter, and move both together and apart. Thank you, Aisha. You feeling all right? Drink? You want to like the pair? You want physics boy? Yeah, that's where I met Tilly. Around two. Dex me. Get you a pint of snake. The date is July 15, 1988 and Emma unintentionally runs into Dexter while clubbing in Edinburgh, where the students are celebrating the completion of their studies. While Dexter observes Emma mingling with her pals, his buddy Rory interrupts him by inquiring as to if he is visiting France. Emma is taken aback when a drunken lad falls into her lap out of the blue, but she's even more taken aback when Dexter approaches her and greets her. Dexter quickly leaves after waking up the unidentified youngster, who turns out to be his friend Callum. After apologizing for Callum's antics, he asks Emma, who is astonished, if she would like to get a drink. The duo dance and converse until the early hours of the dawn consuming champagne. He takes her residence, but when he informs her that she ought to have said hi when she spotted him. Emma breaks up their embracing just as matters become hot and heavy, putting on a tape of Joan Armour tradings, love and affection, whilst Dexter looks on uncomfortably. When they get back to their heated activities, Emma asks again what Dexter's arrangements are for the foreseeable future. Dexter informs her that his parents are in Edinburgh for graduation and will be in London for a few days before heading to France, China, and India. Emma doesn't agree with Dexter's travel plans, pointing out that he's avoiding reality. Emma is interested in getting to know Dexter better and discussing their goals, but Dexter is more interested in his desire for X. When Emma asks him whom he wants to be and what to accomplish when he's 40, he casually replies, I want to be rich and famous, and he embraces her. Dexter feels annoyed when Emma assumes that because of his upper class status, he will be like a rich and famous man. He implies that he leave, but a guilty Emma begs him to stay. He questions her why she desires to fall asleep beside him if she believes he's shallow, vain, and corrupt. However, as soon as their sensual antics get back up, Emma breaks from their kiss and heads to the bathroom to wash her teeth only for her closest friend Tilly to barge in and push her to exes with Dexter. Emma declines and states that she wants to know Dexter even if he is examining her feminist and political literature in her bedroom. Dexter is eager to continue their passionate evening when she returns, but she informs him that there's nothing exes than talking. He reluctantly consents, and before turning in for the night, they have a heart to heart. Emma awakens the following morning to see Dexter stealthily making an attempt to go. Following an uncomfortable exchange, Dexter decides against going so soon and instead decides to wait and see whether his parents decide to depart. Pretending to contact his parents and ask if they can go a little later, Dexter is questioning Emma about what occurred last night while Tilly is questioning her. Emma feels let down by Dexter when they reach the top of Arthur's seat after breakfast because he hastily releases her hand upon spotting a familiar face. The two lie down and let the sun bathe them as they open themselves to one another. Yeah. Right. So in a my mum's Hindu. I feel like a night wasted. Yeah. Okay. Cheese. Oh, no. oh. What's that? Fifteenth of July. Once they reach the bottom, Dexter asks Emma if she would like to have a drink close to his house before they separate. While traveling, they run with Stephen and Alison, Dexter's parents, who are searching for him. Dexter lies to Emma by telling his mother that he left a message on their machine, but Alison exposes his deception by pointing out that they are lodging at a hotel. After introducing themselves, Alison invites Emma to supper with her and Stephen. Dexter is bid farewell with the words, have a nice life, as she graciously declines their offer and leaves. Emma is walking home when Dexter runs after her and calls her name. Emma feels upset. When he returns from France, he offers her the opportunity to reside with him in London and provides her his phone for future communication. Okay. I'm saying you don't, you don't lose. 
thought maybe you'd want to come down. You, you, you don't have yes. to. Yes, yes. Oh. Bye, Dex. Bye. Your life will surely...